Hi, my name is Rebecca Kramer, and I'm here to discuss sex trafficking and the whistleblower Catherine Bolivac. Catherine Bolivac was a former policewoman in Nebraska in the United States. She later became an investigator for 12 years. She served as a human rights investigator for the International Police Task Force in Bosnia. During that time, many of the goals was to stop sex trafficking in Bosnia, which was a huge issue. She was a whistleblower because she brought to light a sex scandal being covered up by the United Nations within this International Police Task Force. Catherine whistleblew on the issue of sex trafficking and falsified documents made within the, in, within the International Police Task Force and the United Nations allowing sex trafficking to occur instead of putting an end to it. A lot of the UN uh, officials knew about this issue and didn't bring it to light. But the majority of the reports definitely were of staff simply perpetuating the trade by using the brothels, which is uh, quite, quite bad. But uh, there were those very specific incidents that could have been followed up on where people were actually falsifying documents. They were caught purchasing women outright from the bars, not just going there and, and buying an hour's worth of use, but actually taking them home and living with them, buying them for, you know, $700 or 3,000 Deutschmarks. For the most part, we were probably doing more harm than good by even being there because the amount of international money that flows into these missions is what's supporting this trade. And as the mission grows and the dollars grow that are being spent, then so flows the trade. So, yeah, that became quite clear, and it became quite clear that there was no real intent or any real um, desire by any, uh, any uh, U.N. personnel who could have uh, made some changes or any U.S. State Department personnel or any government, for that matter, to try and come up with a mechanism to fix this problem and to investigate it. It was just so much easier just to uh, close your eyes that it even existed. The importance behind Catherine Bolivac bringing light onto this issue is the fact that one, sex trafficking is completely unethical. Two, it is harmful to the country and the people used during the sex trafficking acts. For the United Nations to take place in such an unethical, harmful act shows that there was a major issue at hand that not a lot of people want to acknowledge. As well, the amount of international money that was being given to the United States United Nations and the police task force was doing a lot of harm, more harm than good. Not one specific country, government, or the United Nations as a whole wanted to address this issue. Instead, they were feeding money into this program that in the end wasn't benefiting anyone. Catherine Bolivac felt completely unethical and that no one was doing anything about it after she reached out to multiple people multiple times. After Catherine Bolivac reached out to multiple UN personnel, governments, and different countries around the world, no one wanted to help. Everyone turned a blind eye to it and just let the issue continue. For this reason, and the reasons of it being harmful and completely unethical, Catherine Bolivac whistle blew and shed light on a situation that needed her help. Catherine Bolivac, being a police officer for many years, had to teach herself and learn to keep her emotions far from the job. But when it came to sex trafficking, especially in Bosnia and as hard as the, this whole situation was, Catherine could not stop but think about her two young daughters that were the ages of these women that were being sex trafficked right in front of her. With the help of the UN and the help of this international police task force that she worked for, these young girls and women were being forced into sex trafficking and prostitution, and she, all she could think about was her daughters. Catherine Bolivac bringing her emotions into this situation was probably the best thing she could have done. She whistle blew against the United Nations and against the International Police Task Force. Later on in her years after whistleblowing, she wrote, wrote a novel about her experience called The Whistleblower, Sex Trafficking, Military Cro Contractors, and a One Woman's fight for justice, and later released a film in August of 2011 explaining that book. Catherine Bolivac today has multiple speaking events and consultancy topics she's able to speak on. Sadly, 
With Catherine Bullback whistleblowing on this issue, it didn't cause much of a difference. The, t the people that demoted her and fired her after whistleblowing still work on missions around the world. With the United Nations working in countries that don't even have governments in place or don't have proper order, it was really hard to bring up crime and issues relating in these countries that don't have a set of rules or a set of police force that can establish these rules. Sadly, Catherine Bolovac did make a difference in bringing up the issue and getting people aware to it, but fundamentally, the United Nations still gets money for these um, issues and is still the organizations that are focused on these issues in these countries like Bosnia or other third world, world countries. Thank you for listening, and I hope that I brought a lot of light onto the situation and brought some knowledge into the topic of sex trafficking and prostitution that is still an issue today, not only in other countries and third world countries, but our own country here in the United States. Thank you.